So what's an association? We talked about hierarchies, we talked about indexes, now it's time to come to this idea of an association. And what is an association? An association is some sort of relationship, point-to-point -point relationship between one item of information and another. And so we have an item of information, and that item of information ought to be related. It ought to be cross-referenced. It ought to be associated. It ought to be, and I hate to use this word, but I will, linked to another item of information. Why? Because if you're on that item of information, it's likely that you might also want to be on that other item of information. We've seen this idea of associations in ads when I talked about the basic structure of, of HTML pages and how users view HTML pages. That idea of an ad is, it's a little vignette that says, if you're on this page, you might also want to be on another page. Of course, links in HTML are also like associations. They're point-to-point -point references from one item to another item. Uh, a cross-reference, of course, in a book or anywhere else can be considered also a, um, an association. And let's see what else. Oh, a citation or a reference. When you look at a reference, like a bibliographic reference, that's also an association. It's associating the place where you are, the item that you are right, right now, with another item of information that you might want to be on. So those are the, that's the def basic definition and some examples of, of what cross-references are, how cross-references are used. Um, how does the user think of an association? Well, we've talked about those ads. Um, the user says, I'm kind of on the trail of something. I'm on this item and I'm in the vicinity of, of, the, of the thing that I want to get to. And so um, if I click this link, I might be at that thing I want to get to. The user thinks of, um, of this idea that the place I want to go is associated, is linked, is, is somehow related, has a relationship to this item. And so I'm going to look around. Uh, the, the user sees the idea that a particular phrase or word or concept is left undefined, is defined elsewhere, and I click on this link, I make this association, I traverse the association to find the definition, to find more information about a subject of interest. Those are all the ways that, um, that end users think about links. Managers think about links by trying to create, they don't, in, they don't usually use cross-references to find information. Indexes and hierarchies are really the main events when it comes to managing information and finding the items that need some work done on them. But managers do spend a lot of time thinking about how to organize the web-like structure of an information base. How do I traverse things? Unfortunately, I believe they put most of their energy into where should the ads be placed? And by ads, I don't only mean commercial ads. I also mean ads that take you on the trail that the manager wants you to be on. If the manager spent more, like for example, to the buy button on Amazon.com. Amazon puts a lot of effort into what associational um, structure can we create so that you end up on that buy button, so that you end up on the page or on the item or on the feature that we want you to, to engage with. Um, if managers spent nearly as much time or even a fraction of that time thinking about what's in the user's mind. If they're here, where might they want to be? And one good example of that is if I'm here and I don't understand, where should I go to get an understanding? If I'm here and I want to go further with this information, where should I go to go further with this information? What are some other resources I could use when I'm on this piece of information to do more with it, to apply it, to use it, that sort of thing? Um, what are some of the issues? Well, the issues are that, that, uh, that uh, associations are often done in a rather haphazard way. And, and, uh, uh, and people who do links, and this is for good reason, they, are, they don't have time, they don't have the energy to do it, there's other things pressing, and they don't have an overall idea at the beginning of how those cross, -reference are going to, cross references are going to work. They're done in a sort of a random, and, and when you think of it, when you remember what, what item to link to, etc., then put in a link, and otherwise, you know, well, we'll just depend on those other access uh, structures to get us through. Um, but there's a fundamental and kind of philosophical issue with links as well, which makes them very, very difficult. And that's the idea of what exactly should be associated with a particular item. If you think about it, just about anything could be associated with an item. Just about any other item has some form of relationship. And if you think real hard, you'll come up with some relationship that every item has to every other item. And so of the possibilities of the relationships one item has to another, what are the, what are the particular relationships that ought to be validated, that ought to be brought forward, that ought to appear on the page um, over and above other ones? That's a hard issue. That's a hard thing to understand, and it's a hard thing to implement, and it's a hard thing to 
be consistent about and always anticipate. But the, 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 the path to that, and it's a hard path, but the path to that is really trying to understand what the user, what's in the user's mind when they're on a piece of information. They're on this piece of information and what's likely to be driving them forward to the next piece of information. And by beginning with that, you can begin to untangle or, or suss out or come up with a strategy for making links in a consistent way, for making associations in a consistent way.